What do you know? What do you say? What do you do, my YouTube viewers? Retro Pro Frank with episode 6 of the Bar Top Arcade. And we are in the man cave. That's right. We're in the man cave. Okay, we're getting really close to getting this guy done here. Guess what, guys? You'll never believe what came in. Ba -ba 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 yeah, all the team moldings came in. Okay. So there's 25 feet here. I measured it up. That should be enough. Okay, it's got the protective wrap on top. Okay. So at some point in this episode, we're going to get this thing on, and this is going to change the look of this machine. Okay. But for now, before we put the team molding on, uh, I really want to wire up the buttons. Now we wired up um, the LEDs on the buttons in the last video, episode 5. In episode 6, we're going to have to decode <laughs> this huge mess of, uh, we're going to have to orientate each line, player 2, left, right, down, up, start, select, bop, 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 bop. Player 1, same situation, so we're going to have to wire everything to that uh, microchip that I showed you guys, okay? And we're going to have to uh, put it to its appropriate uh, line, okay? So how I'm going to do this, a little bit old school. Okay, just so I don't get screwed up. Boom, there we go. Taped right to the arcade. I can't miss up, okay? So we need to find the grounds first, okay? So there's a ground there, a ground there, and a ground here. It's not even sticking. And then we're gonna daisy chain, we're gonna take the daisy chain wires, and we're gonna do all the grounds, kind of like we did with the LEDs, okay? So we're gonna da daisy chain all the uh, grounds. And you can see how they connect into that um, little chip are these guys. They just punch right in. The other end of these guys are, uh, these guys you just slip over, and that's it. Okay, guys, so there's the board right there, okay? So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see exactly what's going on here. Okay, guys, there's the board there. So if you look over here on the actual layout, so it shows the USB there, so that's the front, and the USB is there, so that's the front. Now, each pin is numbered. And see all the numbers here? Sorry, you might feel a little bit drunk by the end of this video. See all the numbers there? That's where you got to run each lead for each um, connector. So, for example, this one says player 2, 1. So that's the first pin on the left side. Not the right side, the left side. So, player 2, right. So, this first pin is going to go to player 2 on the right side. Okay? Then the next pin, number two, is going to go to player two, the left side, okay? And then let's say we just take a random right there. So that's up, down, left, right on player one side, okay guys? So follow with me here. Here's all the buttons. Button one, two, three, four, et cetera, et cetera, and so on and so on. Now, uh, you're not going to see start, pause, configure, and exit. Now, what I found out is that there's a bunch of buttons, once everything's all hooked up to primaries, that everything says, like these six buttons, the four controllers, the four-way controller, because there's four different connections, and these six buttons, and, and these four and these six, there are quite a few left over, okay? There's quite a few numbers left. So, let's say, for example, pause, okay, pause there. That might be wired, for example, to, you know, um player one button two with the X you know just it's a, it's it's extra buttons guys okay when you do this the first thing you want to do is make sure you get all your primary connections first okay and make sure that they're proper okay and then once you get all these all done <clears throat> then go back for the other buttons okay and that and then you're just gonna pretty much uh, tie those into any any room that you have left on on this board here okay whatever's not being used you can use for these guys so I'm going to do all the negatives first and let's start with that. Okay guys, so you just got to follow each one. You know what, it looks a little bit overwhelming, but if you do one lead at a time, you'll be fine guys, okay? Just remember that this very top one is always the ground and then the one lower, there's two more prawns. There's one up top like this and there's two other prawns. The very top prawn is always ground on all the buttons. And then you want to put your line to the second button down. You don't want to go to the, uh, sorry, to the first button down. You don't want to go to the second button down. That's constantly open. That's going to be for a totally different other thing. <laughs> so yeah, okay guys. So ground is the very top of the micro switch. And then your first 
leaf down is where you plug in your actual action. Okay, guys, so, yeah, <laughs> the supplier kind of screwed me um, where I ordered all this uh, button set up off of. Uh, they didn't send me the daisy chain for all the grounds of every button, so guess who has to make them all? <laughs> this is going to set me back some time. So I got to head out, I got to pack up, I got to go down to a local uh, electronic uh, supply store here in Hamilton on Parkville, New Tech Electronic, they always take care of me over there. I gotta get some wire, I gotta get some crimpers, and I gotta get some of these kind of connections here. They really screwed me, and they're gonna be hearing about it on eBay. Anyway guys, you can see how this can get out of hand uh, very quickly. So yeah, you wanna try to keep everything as clean as possible, keep your master list here, and what I'm gonna be doing is checking it off as I go to know which ones are already been in use and which ones are still gonna be open, okay guys? So I'm going to go run out there real quick, I'll come back in a blink of an eye, you guys won't even know I'm gone, and I'll see you soon. Alright guys, heading back from the electronic supplier uh, here in Hamilton, New Tech Electronics, you know what, these guys are great, they had my back, had to go pick up a nice bag full of goodies, uh, I already contacted the eBay seller, okay, Party for Fun I think his name is, and I said, I go, bud, where's all my uh, daisy chains for, you know, Where's the daisy chains for the ground that I paid for for the micro switches? And he hasn't replied yet, but I did tell him. I said, listen, I have to make a daisy chain now. And the way I am, I'm going to have to friggin' solder everything now. Um, you know, they, you can crimp them, but I don't trust that. I like to solder everything. So now I'm into at least a good solid hour, if not longer, making this daisy chain. So I pretty much told him, I said, listen, uh, you know, you guys f forgot to include it. When it states in your ad that, you know, you guys include the daisy chain for the micro switches. So I said, uh, I'm going to send you a picture of the bill, and you guys got to reimburse me. And all, to be honest, they should be reimbursing me for my time, too. Like, shit, man, this is going to take me an extra hour, you know? I got stuff going on, too, you know? Mind you, I enjoy this kind of stuff, but... Anyway, the reason why I'm adding this part, guys, is because when you're doing stuff like this, don't expect everything to run completely smooth, okay? You're always going to run into a couple hiccups. Be prepared that you know have your uh, electronic supply store handy uh, look them up in the yellow pages Google it whatever you guys got to do okay because there's always going to be little hiccups like this okay now mind you if they didn't uh, neglect to put those wires in you know I'd be done by now you know so anyway I'm gonna bring I'm gonna go home I'm gonna start making this uh, daisy chain you know, it cost me 10 bucks, not too bad. I got all my connectors and everything that I need. But still, you know, 10 bucks, you know, a 50 minute drive each way, there's a half hour, plus gas money. Now we're into 15, 20 dollars, plus an extra hour. You know, I would never, I wouldn't even get out of bed for anything less than 20 dollars an hour. You know, so an hour is another 20. So this hiccups, you know, for them forgetting to, to, to include that wire, there's 50 dollars in the garbage. You know, that's the way I see it. But yeah, I'm going to send them a picture of the bill. I'm going to say, listen, you guys got to reimburse me, and I'm going to have to leave them uh, a neutral feedback. I'm not going to leave them a positive feedback, or I'm just not going to leave any feedback at all. I'm going to tell them, say, listen, I need to be reimbursed the $10 in parts, and now what about my time and my gas and everything to go down and to get it? I'm going to send them pictures of everything I bought. You know, I'm not lying. I'm not that type of guy. I believe that on eBay there are people like that that would do that kind of stuff, but... You know, think about it. It's only fair. What's right is right. Now, if they would have had to send me out the daisy chain, yeah, I would have had to wait two weeks to get it from the States, which I'm trying to get this done. Like, I'm not in no super rush, but I'm just looking at it every day, and I'm closer and closer. But they would have had to pay the shipping. Let's say that would have cost them 10 bucks, and let's say it would have cost them 10 bucks to make. They would have been all 20 bucks anyway. So, anyway, guys, just the point of this little clip is just be prepared that things won't go as planned all the time okay all right guys so we're back at the man cave it's now nine o'clock at night so there's not going to be much filming today um <laughs> so i may do with what i can scavenge in the city okay now each one of these have been soldered this is just a daisy chain by yours truly okay took me quite a bit of time to strip all the wires and, you know it's just it's not that I'm like mad it's just it's just annoying 
Like it's just it's just annoying to do all this work on uh, on a Tuesday when you know your kit should come with it. You know what I mean, guys? And every piece of wire stripped, and you know this will work. Uh, I was in contact with the seller, the eBay seller, and uh, I pretty much told him, uh, "Listen, you got 24 hours to respond because uh, that's not right." And I told him, "How am I going to be compensated for my time?" Like, it probably took me about a good three or four, about three hours, all said and done for everything. Um, just tedious work, you know, when they have uh, proper equipment to do this kind of stuff. And, you know, I'm just uh, Joe Blow <laughs> making a daisy chain, and now it's all tangled, but making a daisy chain here. And, you know, it just, it just wasn't fun to do. Like, I wasn't expecting on doing this tonight. So, yeah. You know, if I get some energy tonight, guys, because I'm, I'm tired. I work today, too. Uh, I might just throw these on here, finish the rest of the leads on here, and uh, that's it for tonight. We'll continue the video tomorrow, okay? Hopefully, I get all that done tonight, and then tomorrow we'll, uh, we'll put on the team all thing, okay, guys? Okay, guys, so this is the next day, okay? Uh, I got a good night's sleep, went to work today, okay? Got my tea molding ready. Okay, so last night, just to wrap up last night, I got everything attached from my homemade wires. I was in contact with the eBay seller. He replied, you know, insisting that he had everything uh, that was available in the package that I purchased, and the package was in there. Uh, I might have to go through eBay now. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do, but uh, I'll let him know that he was short on some items. And yeah, so, I'm settling that now, okay? But today, da -da -da -da, speaker girls came in, guys. And they actually, they came from China, these speaker girls. Ordered them off eBay, okay? Nice speaker girls are gonna go up on top of the speakers here, okay? Just a couple screws to hold them in. They're actually really nice quality, like, guys, I wasn't expecting this kind of quality from China, you know? It's, uh, you know, and they actually came in this thing, and they're, they're all attached, and everything's good. So, yeah, I actually ordered two, and there's four that came in the package. They gave me two extra. So, I went ahead on eBay, and I left a great review on uh, on the seller there in China. It only took a couple of weeks. They're really quick, guys, okay? So, yeah, I got my speaker grills. That's going to look really nice once they're installed. Okay, we'll do that in this episode as well. But so yeah, so uh, let me get back to yesterday. So yesterday, you guys can tell in the video that I was exhausted there, okay? So what I ended up doing was wiring everything in there, okay? Everything's wired. I took the PC off camera, and I actually, um, I played the games last night. I hooked it up, I tested the buttons, I had to do that, and everything works. So yeah. I want to do that off camera. I kind of want to leave that for the uh, for the end there, okay, guys? So, yeah, let's talk a little bit about the T-molding here, okay? This T-molding here, okay, it came from a place called uh, the Palladium Store in Toronto, okay? And it's not the Palladium Store that you guys are thinking about, okay? The, not where you go and play games. This, ga this, this place, they supply parts for games, okay? So they didn't have it in stock when I first went there, and I was like, you got to be kidding me. I came all the way to Toronto, you don't have it. So they offered me free shipping, and they actually shipped it out to me for free, okay, which is very nice of them. I paid for it while I was there, okay, uh, I paid them in cash. So this was a little bit more expensive. The chrome is the most expensive T-molding that you can buy, okay. So yeah, actually guys, I took a video when I was there. Take a look at this.
guys see the prices on some of those games? That's why I'm making this thing. Okay, beautiful place. Okay, completely out of my budget. But for somebody who wants original stuff, the pinball machines there are great. Uh, my one buddy I was working with there, he was playing the pinball there. Or the uh, Big Deer Hunter game, whatever the hell it is. So yeah, I just buy parts for them. And they do sell joysticks and everything like that. They sell the eye packs and everything. So yeah, I just bought the T-molding off them. Okay, now I want to talk a little bit about the T-molding. See the groove in the wood that accepts the T-molding? Nobody on the internet explains exactly how um, how thick that groove is. Okay, it's friggin' hilarious. I've watched almost every video on the internet explaining about how to do the T-molding, the type of bit that you need, okay, to, to make the insert. This is the bit here. I've used this on two so far, and I'm going to guard this with my life. Okay, this goes into a router, okay, and you go around the edges of the actual uh, frame, okay, and you want it directly in the center, okay, you got to make sure it's in the center or else your T-molding is going to be offset. So that takes a couple minutes to set up, but once it's set up, you're golden. This is called a, uh, a tri-wing slot cutter, okay? So the one thing that nobody ever indicates on the internet is the thickness of these, okay? Now these come in different thicknesses, okay? So the thickness is this thickness right here, okay? Now, if you go too thick, if you get a thick uh, slot bit, okay, you see that T? That's why they call it a T molding, because it's, it's actually, sorry about the camera, guys. It's actually a T. If you go too thick with the tri-wing here, if you go too thick with this, when you push this in, it's going to slide right out, okay? So everyone, no one ever tells the thickness of this. This took me a while to figure out, okay? Guys, I figured this out. One-eighth is way too big, guys. It won't hold the T-molding. Here it is. Here's the internet secret on this, guys, okay? Be ready. A lot of people are going to get pissed off. I'm giving out this information. You need a one-sixteenth slot cutter, okay? One-sixteenth of an inch. It took me... About a half a day, or a day actually, to track this thing down when I built my, my big one, my first one. Okay, everyone always carries the 1 8th, okay? You need a 1 16th or else that T-molding will just fall out of position, okay? And that would be a terrible thing. Especially if you route all that with 1 8th and you try to put this in and you can never get it in, you're going to end up putting Bondo and covering it up because you're not going to be able to get it in. Guys, the secret with this slot bit that nobody on the internet tells you is it's 1 16th width okay they come in one eighth one quarter a half inch you need one sixteenths i went to lowe's home depot home hardware lee valley okay these are all uh, hardware stores here in canada didn't have it went to fastenal didn't have it you know who had this the small the smallest freaking hardware store out of everywhere in hamilton had this they only had one and had about three inches of dirt on it and i think it was only about twenty dollars guys Okay, you can get them online, you can get them on eBay. I think they're about 20 or 30 bucks coming from China, but how well are you going to trust it? This is, a, this is American steel here. This is American or Canadian steel. This is, you know, this is a good quality here, okay, guys? So, yeah, 116 slot bit, okay, guys? That's very, very important, okay? You know what, guys? I think now uh, I'm so excited because I know once this T-molding is in, that this arcade is totally going to pop once this arc once this T-molding goes in. And it is a chrome T-molding to match the chrome buttons that I purchased. So you know what, guys? Without further ado, let's put it in, okay? You're going to need a couple tools. You're going to need some... You're going to need some side cutters, okay, guys? And you're obviously going to need some... A knife, a nice sharp knife, okay? a hammer but you don't want to use a steel hammer okay guys if you use a steel hammer on that finish what's gonna happen is you're gonna ruin the finish it's gonna be all scratched so you want a rubber mallet either something like this with the beads inside or something with rubber ends okay something like that okay guys now I hope this camera is okay I'm gonna just push over something with rubber ends okay and now here's another trick from Retro Pro Frank if you have a steel hammer, and all you can use is a steel hammer to hit that T-molding in all the way around, grab yourself some duct tape and put it around the head of the hammer. So you would take the steel hammer here and wrap some duct tape, put some paper towel on top, then some duct tape, so when you hit it, 
you got some sort of a cushion there, guys, and you're not going to scratch it up, okay? So, yeah. All right, guys, without any further ado, let's make this bad boy pop. I'm going to be using something like this, guys, okay? Just for around the corners here, like these angles here where they're really sharp. Pull that bad boy down. Okay guys, now you want to pull down nice and tight here. there's an inside corner like this you got to get rid of some of this uh, bar on the inside here Fucking beautiful. Wow. What a big difference. Unbelievable, guys. So now we're at the end. Obviously. So this pass here. Wow, what a difference, guys. So now we're just going to cut this as straight as possible. And there's one side done. Let's keep going. Okay guys, the team molding is all done and she looks friggin' really, really, really handsome. Look how beautiful this looks. This is looking so clean. Guys, look at that. Woohoo, boy! Look at the job we're doing, guys. This is absolutely gorgeous, okay? You can see that I put them on these two pieces here, all the way around the sides. Holy jeez. Wow. <laughs> See the shine coming off that? She is looking very sexy. Extremely sexy. Look at that. <laughs> That's looking awesome, guys. Okay, it wasn't that hard. Okay, you want to make sure your environment's a little bit warm so you can bend it around those corners. Like uh, these corners here, this is a bit of a sharp angle, but you can see how good I got it there, okay? How good we got it, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. That T-molding just made this machine pop entirely. Okay, guys, it's getting pretty dark, all right? But you know what? We can throw on the uh, speaker grills, okay? Okay guys, let's put on these speaker grills over here. Okay, and then we're gonna call them a night. Just takes four screws. I got a bunch of black screws, Phillips head. Okay, and then after this, that's everything guys. I think we accomplished a lot in episode six. Okay, it's uh it's been a battle with those wires with eBay. I'm curious to what the eBay seller, you know, what excuse he has. Uh, if he tries to get out of it or whatever, I'm just the type of person I'll go directly to PayPal, you know, because you pay for something, it should be right, you know, so, that looks good right about there. One screw. You're trying to tell me that it was in the, it was in the package, like, come on. I'm sure they get people that try to rip them off, but I'm not that kind of person, you know. I would never do that, so. 
firm believer in karma. And I would never uh, do that to somebody, okay? I would never try to rip somebody off. Alright, so there's the first one there. It actually matches the theme here. Uh, the black, sleek look. I don't know what the hell kind of theme it is, but... It really blends in there quite nicely, guys. These speaker grills. Okay. Well, they're just uh, cheap speaker grills. I could have went with more expensive speakers and speaker grills, but you know what? It sounds good enough. Uh, the way it is, so... I'm very happy with it. Okay, I still gotta mount um, the amplifier. I haven't figured out where I'm gonna do that. But we'll get to that too. Eventually. Okay. I still wanna show you guys how this thing plays, okay? I got it running a uh, Windows 7 and 64 bit. And you know what? It's running it very smooth. Now mind you, the computer only has six uh, gigs of RAM. Okay, but that's all you really need. You know, I was running one, I think we had two gigs of RAM, and it was running all the old games good. So there we go, guys. She's all done. Take a look at this. Okay. All right, guys. So there's the speaker grills there. Okay, just cleans it right up. I thought I would have had to paint for sure. But take a look at this cab, guys. We did a nice amount of work in this episode 6 here, okay? Sorry about the glare. That's really killing me, guys. But you can see she really turned out beautifully. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next episode, uh, hopefully some point this weekend, okay, guys? This is Retro Pro Frank, and I'm out. Guys, thanks for watching the video. If you guys like this video, go ahead and press the like button below. And uh, you guys can leave some comments uh, below in the comments section of the video. Please share this video on Facebook pages to your friends and family. As well as if you guys like this video, please subscribe. This is Retro Pro Frank. Thanks for watching. I'm out.